awful lot of people must have gone out of business, mustn't they? All these bricked up yes. shops. Mm. And Some of them have set up elsewhere, mind you, but uh, it's been very hard on traders over the last few years. Very hard. Actually, what I want to show you now is, um, I think it's claimed to be the biggest hoarding in Britain. Now, this is it. If I can pull over to the side. Can I? All right, yes. Is it all right? Good. Use the confidential, confidential telephone. telephone. Everybody knows the number off by heart. If you're suspicious, dial 999. This don't let the bomber get your car. There's new legislation all about that. Too often that innocent people's cars were being pinched and then used to plant a bomb. And don't let children play with toy guns. That was especially relevant all around uh, Christmas time. You hear so much about it and then you actually see it. But I find after a few hours, I'm already beginning to take it for granted in a way. I'm not really? You're starting to relax? What's Good. happening home? I think it's just a VCP. Oh, what's a VCP? Vehicle checkpoints. You know, where you're pulled into your car straight. It's sort of random search. That's just a hat valve off. That's Yes. Again, explosives have been carried it in spare tyres and things, so it will check the weight of it and so on. Right. Get off. I think it probably looks like a bomb scare, is it? Oh, do you work in one of the shops yes, up here? Yes. yes. Right, last How many times has this happened to you? Oh, dozens and dozens of times. Has there ever actually been a bomb? Oh, yes. 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 Or a oh, no, long. no. Quite often. Right, last week. Did you get fed up yet? No, it's just a way of Awful, Diane. When did that happen? That was, I think, last Wednesday or Thursday, and it was in those that, those awfully high winds. Remember all the yes, stormy yes. weather last week? So it was an incendiary device of some description. Fire well, started. Thing's gone. Well, I it, don't remember hearing about that one. <laughs> a lot of people in Britain, you know, it all merges yes. into one big long story for them. Apparently, they set the incendiary near the paint store. You know, yes. maximum effect. The whole thing went up. Yeah. people cope with their shopping? I don't imagine they window shop much, do they? No. <laughs> You're so right. Um, if you have to come into the city centre, I mean, you wouldn't choose to come into the city centre for a day's outing. If you have to come into the city centre because you think you can only get something in a city centre shop, shop quickly and get out you again. go straight in and you go straight out again. Can I put that down there? Come on over here. Yes, coming. Uh, you run. Yes, yes. Okay. Actually, I would like a quarter of cockles and vinegar, please. <laughs> Prawns. I, I've pinched a prawn. I hope you don't mind. They're delicious. Do you find that because people might come in and do all their shopping here rather than shopping around and taking more time? that shopkeepers might take advantage of that and put the prices up? I don't think so. Um, there is no doubt that prices seem to be much more expensive in Belfast. I don't think... Well, I was looking at some figures, and they're about a pound more for a, the average weekly shopping basket than they are in the southeast. Yes, well, that and doesn't surprise not... me. I know that it's more expensive, but I wouldn't say it's all entirely related to the troubles. And I don't think that the Belfast shopkeeper necessarily takes advantage of the Belfast housewife and puts prices up.